Hey everybody, I am down in Perry County, Ohio. This is where I grew up, uh, near the town of Mount Perry. And my buddy owns a few hundred acres down here, family. Uh, his dad bought it back in the late 70s, I think. And we come down, um, I went to high school with all these guys. And uh, been been doing this camp down here for, well, since 1994, actually. So it's this is like 29 years of tradition coming down here. Uh, come down every fall for deer season. But in the spring, we do, um, if you guys saw the Hobo Shoestring video of us talking, uh, we do uh, morel mushroom hunting. And, I mean, you can find them. They grow in every state, but uh, this time of year, these are morels. They're cut up. We're soaking them. We found a pile. One of my buddies found a pile of them this morning. I mean, there are, gosh, I don't know what they get out of a pound of mushrooms, but these are like the big yellow sponge mushrooms. So Google morel mushrooms. They're, a, they're an absolute delicacy. Uh, the way I like to cook them is, and I think I might not have another video on my channel cooking them, but uh, basically you, uh, you like roll them in flour and cook them in butter. And they are amazing. Rusty. Um, you put them in flour, roll them in flour, and then cook them in butter in like a skillet or on that griddle out there. And they are just amazing. And for whatever reason, um, morel mushrooms, they can't grow them commercially. So there's like about, well, it depends on what state you live in, but there's about a month long window when they pop up in the woods, like over here, or up there. And there's, there's tips. You can watch a million videos on finding morel mushrooms. I've been hunting them since I was like 13, I think, 12, 12. Yeah, 12, 13, I think dad took me out. And it's like, I, I always say it's kind of like uh, Easter egg hunting for adults. Because they, if you saw the, what they look like, they blend in with the, the, the forest floor like perfectly. And, uh, oh, they're delicious. And they don't take, taste like any mushroom you've ever had in your entire life. They have like a real earthy, I don't even know how to describe them. If you had a mushroom, a morel mushroom, uh, you know what I'm talking about, but they are so delicious and there's only like a month long window when they grow. Each state is different. Like the, the Southern part of Ohio down here, they're in full swing. Those yellows are like the, the prized ones. There's, there's black ones, there's gray ones, there's white ones. Uh, the yellows are like kind of the last ones to go to, to start growing, but, uh, everybody loves them. Even people are like, I don't like mushrooms. Well, you've never had a morel because they're amazing. And uh, so back up home in Medina, we're like a week or two behind the, in the growing season for those. So they'll be, they're, they're up there now, probably the grays. I think it's the blacks that start first and then the grays. And then it goes to the yellow, like I said, the yellow ones are kind of the last ones, but um, yeah, so, uh, when I get back up home here after this weekend, uh, the yellows will be up there. So, but yeah, Google morel mushrooms. Uh, they're, they're amazing. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Perry County, Ohio. Uh, most people in Ohio don't realize like the Southern part of Ohio, it's very hilly. Uh, it's kind of like West Virginia, actually, where I grew up, which is, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a hillbilly transplant to Northern Ohio. <laughs> come, from, come from the, the hills of Perry County. Look up Perry County, uh, Ohio too. Uh, one of the most famous people from Perry County is General Philip Sheridan. Uh, he was a Civil War general. He grew up in Somerset, which is about ah, six or seven miles that way. And he was a famous Civil War general that, uh, I can't remember the battles he was in, but he's got a statue over there and it's all interesting stuff. But yep, the backwoods of Perry County, it's kind of Southeast Ohio more than Southern Ohio, honestly, but 
anyways it has been raining here it is muddy and I got my my campus set up over here got the the new truck down in here barely no nah, not barely it, it didn't even miss a beat coming down the, <laughs> the the trails these guys do a lot of side by siding on on my buddy Charlie's property this place is a blast I love it I love that uh, I grew up about a mile that way and that these boys still do this and they have me down every year and I'm kind of the one that started it honestly back 30 years ago and now that I'm not living down here and uh, they still love having me back so uh, it's it's an awesome situation and these guys are good good old boys good old boys all right everybody thanks for watching we'll talk to you later